here's the perfect solution. If you want to grow your product line today, even if you are starting from scratch. So here is my solution for you guys to do this. Number one, I got to explain what the public domain is. We're going to use the public domain. So the public domain consists of all the creative work to which not exclusive intellectual property rights applies. It includes work published before 1923. And you can use it however you want. And that's 100% legal. I'm not like playing around with some rules and things that you can risk. It's like risk-free. Everybody can do it. And it's extremely easy. Now, how can you use those things that are in the public domain? First, what is the kind of work that you can do? There are books. That's the main. That's oftentimes the one we go for. But there are also photos, videos. What else is there? Is like films, um, articles, all those things like that. Newspapers. Those kind of works, you can take them, reuse them, you can sell them as is, but I'm going to show you a way for you to sell even more than that. But let me tell you the process first. Number one, go to that link, Gutenberg.org. You go into Gutenberg.org and it's basically a whole data center of all the previous work that has already been done and that, uh, that belongs to the public domain. So you go in there and what do you do after that? Well, you type your niche or your product. So you type keywords or things that are related to you. Maybe if you're into boxing, something like that, you look at boxing, you look at working out, some kind of things like that. You look at this. And there, what you can do is you reach, find a book, you're going to find a resource, an article, whatever you choose to pick, an image even if you want, that you want to sell. Okay, you're like, hey, there is a potential into that. What you can basically do, you take the book, you take the offer, the, the work, the piece of work that you just get, and you change it and make it your own. And that's the thing, because if you are, remember, I always talk about the fact that you should sell in offers, not in products, because if you are selling products to products, you are selling a commodity. For example, you can choose, like, for example, to take Think and Grow Rich and sell it for yourself. The thing is, there are a thousand and ten people that are also doing the same thing. So you're going to have a lot of competition if you're trying to sell Think and Grow Rich to another Think and Grow Rich book. So you need to have an extreme big value add compared to the other one. If not, you're going to, comp to compete on price. And that's what we talked about yesterday. We don't want that. So you have to change, make it your own a bit. For example, you can apply it in your niche. Let's, let's still get the Think and Grow Rich example. You can make Think and Grow Rich for real estate guys, real estate agents. Thinking go rich for chiropractors, for example. You can do those things, and that's 100% free and risk free. You guys can definitely do it, by the way. That's, there is no, nobody's going to come after you because it belongs to the public domain, which means to everybody. Now, next thing is start selling it. Start selling it and make sure that you build tremendous offers, things that you can add on together. As I told you guys, use the tips that I talked about in today's episode. When you repurpose content, when you add, you compile other things. And you're going to be good to go and have a real offer done by in 15 minutes. Let's stick with the Thinking Growage example. Let's say you do Thinking Growage. You take the book and you make it an audio book. You take the audio and you're basically just reading the, the freaking book. You take the book, you make it in an audio book. You take the audio versions or at least you're doing a video and you basically just take the audio. So now you have audio, video, and the book that you are selling. Okay, pretty cool. What else can you do? Well, maybe because you like thinking grow rich, you search a lot of time for some videos that Napoleon Hill did on that book on some great value add things that it did wrote in the book, maybe interviews that it did on radio. You can build on that as well with it. Hmm? What else can you do? Maybe you can then add a free registration, like a free ticket for an event that you do on freaking growage and how you can apply that to your daily life, to your whatever it is. Depends on the angle you choose to take. But the thing is, as you can see, with one product, we got a full offer done and even other steps upsells in the next, like, you know, in your product line. So that's pretty cool. So make sure you stay creative with those things and try to see, hey, always try to see what's the next problem they will have. What's the next problem they will have Make sure that they stay accountable to 